opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Welcome to our show, Heart Street. Ay, salamat. marami pong uh, salamat. Uh, marami rin yung lalaki. Ayaw rin ang divorce. Okay. Stage, meaning introduction of new politics. Uh, Nalutuwa ako na... Tito Gingo. All that, or just katito. Kapuan ng linggo ng kanyang panunungkulan. And it went from 5 peso and 30 peso. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Welcome to our show, Heartbeat Live. I'm your host, Ray Orosa. Magkakapiling po tayo dito sa susunod isang oras dito sa ating programa. Alam po ninyo, bago natin umpisahan ito, lahat na ito, siyempre we want to tell you about yung mga nanalo ng ating text contest. No? Uh, we just want to be able to announce who the text winners are. Uh, I don't know if we have the capacity, baka hindi namin magawa po ngayon sapagkat nagkaroon kami ng konting technical problems in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, uh, responding to text at the moment. So maybe we will just pass that for the moment and we will go directly into our program. Alam po ninyo sa gabi ito, ako yung talagang nagagalak na mas kina nahirapan pumunta rito sa studio eh uh, pinaunlakan po tayo ng isang matalikong kaibigan, somebody who I know has been doing an awful lot of good as far as this country is concerned and has been so committed to his cause and he's set such a vibrant, beautiful example of God's love. And he's a rallying point for a lot of people who want to do good, who want to do something for their fellow men. Alam po ninyo, kumisan ang talagang kailangan natin ay matuto tayong tumulong sa ating mga kapwa. And especially at this time, and we will talk to him about what, we, what they are doing in Mindanao in view of this recent typhoon that devastated and killed so many people po in Mindanao. Wala na pong iba kung hindi si Mr. Antonio Meloto Jr. Si Katoni. Uh, I want to welcome you to the show. Uh, Brother Tony, thank you very much for being with us this evening. Thank you, Brother Ray, for having me here. Uh, and uh, alam po ninyo, madalas, mapag-usapan natin mga malulungkot na balita, no? But uh, ito nga sasabihin natin, eh, light in the midst of darkness, itong, uh, itong uh, ministry ni, ni Katone dito sa ating bansa. Alam po ninyo, siya ang nag-umpisa, and you were the one that founded Gawad Kalinga. You are the founder and the present chairman of Gawad Kalinga. Now my question is, what inspired you to do this? I mean, on a personal basis. But mo naisipan gawin ito? Because obviously, uh, the, 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 the goodness of the Lord is upon this ministry. And, you know, uh, while we can always talk about what made it successful, we cannot take away the fact that uh, God's favor rests upon that ministry. Uh, um, Ginawa ko ito dahil din sa pagmamahal sa Diyos, no? Oh. Ang dahil I realized that uh, uh, we have to find deeper expressions of our faith. Uh -oh. no? And that is finding a life with a purpose. Yeah. So I realized na kung hindi ko mahalin yung bayan ko, hindi yan nagpapakita ng pagmamahal sa Diyos. Uh -oh. At saka yung pagmamahal sa mahirap ay pagmamahal sa Diyos. Kasi parang mahirap na ang, is ang isang bansa, na, na nagsasabi na mahal niya ang Diyos pero hinahayaan niya na magutom at ang, ang kanyang kapatid. Alam niyo kung tutuusin natin kasi dito, ang dalas sinasabi nga nila, kailangan ang bawat isa sa atin matuto magpakita ng katuwiran. Eh. The righteousness must be manifested in individual lives. There is not a nation that is righteous if the people that live in it are not righteous, di ba? Yeah. So, and, 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 if we, and if we want to believe what this, the, word of the, the word of the Lord says in scriptures that you know, when righteousness flows like a mighty river, that, that nation is going to be blessed. And, uh, kanya, madalas marami kasi nagpupunta sa akin, tatanong, anong ba hindi natin gawin para sa pansa natin? What can we do? What can we do? And my answer has always been, uh, stop thinking about that. Set the tone of righteousness first within your own ambience. Sa kapaligiran mo, sa pamilya mo, sa bahay mo, sa kapitbahay mo, sa komunidad mo, doon mo ipakita yung yung tamang asal, and I think it will create a tremendous influence because it will be an example set uh, that many others might uh, might want to follow, di ba? 
Well, if you call yourself a Christian, so you have to look at the life of Christ. Oh. No, eh, si, si Cristo dumating sa mundo na squatter. <laughs> At ang oh. kanyang tatay ay construction worker. Yeah. So, ibig sabihin siguro sa kay Cristo na pinapakita niya sa atin kung, kung uh, how we should uh, love yung mga taong mga mahi, mahi, na walang tahanan at yung mga taong uh, pinakamababa sa lipunan. So, that's why uh, I am following, I have followed this path. Kasi hindi pwedeng nakatira ako sa isang malaking bahay tapos puro nasa barang-barang yung mga kapatid ko. Uh -oh. Kung hindi ko ituturing ang mahirap na pamilya ko, then hindi ko tinuturing na anak ako ng Diyos. What about the whole idea that, kasi alam mo, remember the Lord said, the poor you shall, you shall always have with you. In other words, uh, when you come down to it, do we have an understanding of what is the real cause of poverty? I know that uh, in, within Gawad Kalinga, you have a somewhat different attitude towards the cause or the reason for poverty. Well, people kasi preach a lot. Uh -oh. And they talk a lot about God's love, no? Uh -oh. eh, pero we talk about it in the comforts of our home, in the, in the classroom or uh -oh. in the pulpit. Uh -oh. Eh, habang nagsasalita tayo, ginugutom yung mahirap. Uh -oh. no? So, ang sa akin, I've stopped preaching because I've done that for a long time. No, okay. I realized that I should practice what is you preached preach. to me. Uh -oh. And, uh, you know, reading scripture, uh, it is uh, a master plan for, for, for you know, for, uh, for our lives and also for, for the life of this world. No? So, uh -oh. tulad yan, yung ginagawa ko ngayon mga gawad kalinga communities from the beginning, it is just... Uh, yung ano, a master plan to build uh, sustainable communities following the early, early Christian communities. As you read in Acts chapter 4, verse uh -oh. 31, God's community of believers was one heart and mi one mind. They shared their resources with one another uh -oh. and no one was in need. Uh -oh. no? So when, I, when we think of, uh, again, yung how do you build God's kingdom, how do you build these communities, you just look at the ano, multiplication of the loaves and the fishes. So, you know, you have to, God is about caring and sharing. Well, let, 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 let me ask you a question that may be a little bit difficult to, to answer, Tony, no? but I think it's just a question that needs to be asked. Because I think what you are talking about is the, the, the challenge to an individual's life, to live out that life of righteousness that uh, Jesus was the, the greatest example of this. No? And the question of uh, organizations. Organizations, however, are there for survival and for prosperity. In other words, how do you manifest, is, is this only, you, can you manifest this principle that you are talking about only in terms or sa pamamagitan lamang ng isang buhay or an individual life? Or well, should that be pictured by the whole organization or the whole community of believers? Well, lahat naman ng organisasyon eh, whether it is a corporate organization, oh. a government organization, a church organization, <laughs> merong vision yan eh. Uh -huh. Meron niyang mission, no? So, kailangan niya na huwag natin i-sacrifice uh -huh. yung ano. Yung organisasyon niyan is not an end in itself. It's a means, okay. you know, to well, I think what that's God's a very important point. Yung sinasabi mo that the organization does not become an end in itself, but is a means to accomplish and yeah. to vivify the, 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 the Christ life within each individual. Yeah. Uh, who, who believes that? Well, sa akin naman, it's uh -huh. just uh, for me, the organization, is uh, is just uh, building the movement, no, to of, mm -hmm. of people who share the same vision, and we have a very clear vision, and that is to end poverty in our country by 2024. No? Okay, let me ask you a question, Ka Katwani. From the time you were formed until now, how many communities have you built, and how many homes have already been turned over to people? Well, we have uh, already over, based on our last count in 2010, uh -oh. kasi we've stopped counting. What's the point? Ang ho, we were not, didn't set out to build all those things. We just wanted to prove uh -oh. to ourselves and to the country no, it that it can be done. Uh -oh. no? So we built 2,000 communities impacted on the lives of a million people. Uh, we had more than a million volunteers from all over. They come and uh -oh. go. You might estudiantes sa eskwilahan, our corporate uh -oh. volunteers. We had over 500 major corporations working with us. We work in 600 uh, towns and cities throughout the country. So ngayon, ang mga, mga bahay na ginagawa, karamihan ngayon ng mga local government are following also the Gawad Kalinga model. Uh -oh. no? Tapos, we triggered the, a phenomenon called land banking because before uh -oh. Gawad Kalinga, wala namang nagbibigay ng lupa, ng lupa. sa mahirap. 
Oh, pero ngayon, uh, as of our last count in 2010, you know, there was uh, land available to us for over a million families. No? Okay. So now, we realize that many of our local governments have discovered no, na they can actually uh, the, uh, you know, improve the lives of their people by also providing them uh, security, la land security, providing them human dignity, no? and uh, they have less crime, etc. And then they can win elections. Tsaka, hindi, pero ang isang magandang ginawa ninyo dito is that you are building a community, not just the houses. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, you have a method so that yung pala mo yung komunidad na pinorma ninyo at binigyan nyo kung dalawang po, limang po, isang daang bahay yan, tinuturuan ninyo kung paano mabuhay at magkaroon ng livelihood para ikang ay kung talagang napakahirap nila, bigyan mo mo ng bahay, di after interval, wala it, nang... It, it, tulad lang nito nang yung nangyari, oh. no? Uh, doon sa uh, ito sa Baguio na ito uh -oh. Dabao, sa, da, sa ba, Dabao sa ka, Compostela Valley sa Butuan, uh -oh. sa Bukidnon uh, sa Surigao the most uh, devastated areas yung mga communities na tinayo namin hindi naman yung bahay eh but those are living, thriving communities na nung dumating ang Baguio they were able to really uh, hindi uh, lang together. bahay yeah, buhay eh. no? uh -huh. kasi, kasi at ang, ang nangyari dito ngayon tulad yan yung pagdating ng bagyo, nagtutulungan sila. Ngayon na matapos ang bagyo, mas matindi ang devastation sa mga tabi nila. Kasi wala kaming casualty sa mga gawad kailang communities. Kasi we built on high grounds. Uh -huh. But at the same time, we built with solid materials. And we uh -huh. it, built it together with the local government, together with the schools. Uh -huh. So marami yung, ano, yung uh, ang nangyayari dito, yung uh, the, the, the solidarity uh -huh. no, ng, ng, ng mga... mga, mga, mga mga ng Pilipino, dito nakikita the Wait, power of solidarity. Oh, that no? means you also help to uh, heal community relations. Precisely, because uh, especially among the poorest of the poor, you have a lot of people who have broken relationships. Pero pag nagbayanihan sila, nagtutulungan sila sa pagtatag ng mga bahay, ng kanilang eskwelahan, ng kanilang mga farms, eh you heal wounds no? and oh. bring you bring peace. No? So tulad ngayon ito, sa bagyo na ito, ang, nag, ang pinakauna na nakarating sa mga mga ano sa mga devastated sites like New Bataan ay yung mga volunteers ng mga gawad kaling at ang nakakatuwa ito sila dating biktima din ng bagyo uh -oh. tapos ngayon dahil nga you safe uh, you know uh -oh. you you provided them decent shelter you organized them kaya ngayon ang pagbigay ngayon ng mga relief goods ngayon ay sa pamamagitan nila kasi nandoon ni sila they have presence on the ground uh -oh. kaya ang saka daming sila ng mga tao uh, yes at saka ang daming donors ngayon from here and abroad na pag naisip nila mula pa ng Typhoon Undoy, ang gawad kalinga pala, no, hindi sila minamab. Kasi uh -oh. yung iba pag dumating, hindi nila alam kung sino mapagkatiwalaan nila. At uh -oh. saka nadating sila sa isang lugar na hindi nila alam. Pero dahil tayo, ay meron tayong mga community. No, uh -oh. Meron na talaga tayong center saan natin itaambak yung mga, mga goods. Tapos meron tayong mga trusted na mga tao. At sila orderly yung pagdideliver ng mga, mm -hmm. ng mga relief sa mga uh -oh. tao. Then uh -oh. after that, we go into relief and uh -oh. rehab. Uh -huh. Kaya tito, tingnan ninyo sa, sa Sendong, ngayon, yung San Miguel, pinadaan din ang kanilang, yung kanilang rehab uh, funds. No? Doon sa inyo. Sa Gawad Kalinga, tapos yung Berjaya, uh -huh. sabi mo nga, napanood mo sa TV na they donated 100 million, but that's 100 million every year for the next three years. Uh -huh, that's just a total of 300 million. 300 million just for that area. Ngayon, uh -huh. we are sure, dahil nga top of mind ang Gawad Kalinga in terms of really building sustainable communities, So dito sa nangyari sa Pablo, we're sure na marami na naman tayong matutulungan. And ang maganda kasi hindi kami gumagawa. Ang mga tao mismo ang involved. Mga tao mismo, ang local government, ang mga corporations, uh -oh. ang mga eskwelahan. Kasi nga, convergence tayo eh. Yeah, Dahil bayanihan spirit ang uh, pinapairan natin. Tsaka yung mga tao yung tinutulungan nyo, meron silang labor contribution. Yes, yes, words, may sweat equity may sila. Sweat equity. At saka yung sinasabi natin, yung dating uh -oh. beneficiaries, benefactor na. <laughs> yung dating nagtanggap, nagbibigay na. So it's really passing it forward. At saka siguro kung magtatayo ka ng isa pang komunidad na malapit sa kanila, yung mga nakabenepisyohan dito muna, itutulong din sa iyo. Just like what happened in Gisaugon. No, kasi tulad yan, all the, ma many of the major mga disasters, uh, tragedies in the last 10 years, ang gawad kalinga, you know, quietly, we were on the ground. So sa, sa Gisaugon, mm -hmm. nang, na, na, nang, nang na, na, nabiyak yung bundok at tinabunan yung mga land, ang libo yung mga namatay, We relocated not only yung mga mga victims to the next town hinunangan. We built over a thousand homes. Maraming tumulong, Shell, at sa ka Jollibee tumulong sa amin. 
Pero ang nangyari, we already, yung ano, yung preventive na yung ginawa natin. Oh. So, tapos, tulad niya, nung Pilam Life, nagtayo sila ng livelihood, we built homes, farms, pati may prone hatchery pa, meron pa sila oh. mga kasaba, chip making. So, kailangan yung sustainability, tingnan natin. Oh. Oh. No, hindi, so, you pr provide them land that are safe from floods, no from from ano from uh, yung mga mm -hmm. yung pa, yung mga wala sa faults tapos ang ano ito so nilalayo na niyo dun yes, sa mga fault and, lines no? and you build houses that are stable uh -oh. no na matibay and you built it through bayanihan spirit pero at the same time you provide also yung ano with other partners na gusto naman magbigay ng ng mm -hmm. bahay tulad niyan yung yung uh, no Angelo King Foundation we are uh, building naman livelihood centers for them for a yeah. while, Miralco also was helping us build yung mga schools sa mga areas of ah. responsibility nila. So kami dito, we realized na... na maapaw, no? Maapaw kung hindi <laughs> ikaw naghahabol na ang tinitingnan mo lang pera. Ang ah. tinitingnan mo kung paano talaga makatulong kasi ang daming gustong tumulong. Okay, but is, is there a, a place or a number that you guys have where say, kung gusto mo magbigay kasi limang piso o limang daan libo, uh, or gusto mo mag-donate ng materials, etc., that you can do that? Uh, para sa Bagyo, meron kaming ano, GK One World, walang iwanan, operation walang iwanan. Uh -huh. no? So you can uh, log to that, kasi kung gusto mo talaga na makarating doon sa mga uh -huh. devastated areas, we uh, have our army there, no, on the ground. And we have already our mga Gawad Kalinga centers in uh, Dabao, in uh, Compostela Valley, we're uh -huh. working with um, Governor Uy very closely. We're working also with uh, other uh, agencies of government. Kasi gusto rin natin ipakita na, na ang gobyerno ating you know, kakampi. Ang mga malalaking kumpanya, kakampi natin. Ang mga lahat na... Sa panahon kasi ng trahedya, walang kaaway. <laughs> <laughs> no? Kaya nga, hindi uh -huh. rin ma... You know, uh, tragic as it is, it also brings out well, the best in our country. Tragedy helps to unify and bring exactly. people together and set aside whatever may be their differences to work for a common cause. But you know, your, I, your, your ideas here in Gawad Kalinga, you've started a worldwide movement, Katoni. Yeah. Kararating ko lang po two days you ago. What? I just arrived from England. I was oh. invited to speak in, uh, uh, in uh, the top universities, including oh. Cambridge oh. and Oxford no, and oh. the London School of Economics. Eh, na-tempo din naman, para bang yung hinanda ng Diyos eh. Uh -huh. Kami naman doon sa bottom up, sa ibaba. Kasi ang gobyerno natin, ginagawa naman. We have an honest, uh, we have an honest uh, and competent uh, government trying to do their best to also to really uh, improve the economy. So, uh, nang pumunta ako sa England, and last month I was also in France, kasi the government of France uh, in Lyon awarded Gawad Kalinga as the social entrepreneur for the world, no? Uh -huh. no? And uh, so, ang nangyari na yung positive uh, ang uh, perception ngayon sa ating gobyerno, nasasabayan din sa galaw ng mga ordinaryong mamamayan na tumutulong sa Gawad Kalinga. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kaya, pati yung mga top universities of uh, France now are sending their interns here in the Philippines kasi I've been telling so them... Sila pag-aralan kung paano ginawa mo Hindi lamang kami, but they want to enter the Asian market. And uh -huh. we tell them that Asia is not only China, it is also the Philippines <laughs> and, and other um, uh, mga ASEAN countries. Kasi what I want to impress in the world, no? kasi tinitingnan na nila yung bigness ng Chinese market. I'm sa telling them, pinagsama mo ang Philippines, ang Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, we're just as big as China, but we are richer in natural resources. Uh -huh. no, kaya nga sinasabi namin na uh, dito sa Pilipinas, something is happening that is defining the, 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 business, the future uh, yung ano, concept of money and business. Kasi uh -huh. sa Pilipinas, ang gawad kalinga, in our concept of uh, sustainability, we're not talking about sustainable prosperity, yung uh, bottom of the pyramid wealth creation through social entrepreneurship. Uh -huh. So sabi namin, sa China siguro, punta kayo doon for commercial business. Dito sa Pilipinas ngayon, we're into social business uh -huh. na kung saan mag, ang pagpapayaman dapat kasama ang mahirap. Uh -huh. no? At sa kakailangan na, na ang, ang, ang kita sa negosyo no? ay kailangan mag-improve din yes. ng buhay ng mga mahihirap. At the same, you're, you're really, what you're doing is creating both opportunity and some degree of equalization. No? In yes. other words, it's not simple, kasi pag ang, ang, ang economic system has become what they call extractive, yes. yun ay dumudukot sa ilalim eh. 
para yumaman ng nandun sa itaas. But what you are trying to do in coming in this way is you are creating viable uh, uh, prosperity or economy, uh, economic activity at the bottom level yeah, because where they themselves benefit. But we have kasi uh, development can only be inclusive. Uh -huh. Otherwise, we have to stay away from the exclusive the and the extractive. Kaya uh -huh. nga yung the old capitalism, you know, somehow, you know, uh, was about excessive uh, consumerism and unbridled greed. Kaya uh -huh. nga we have to redefine now what will work for us. Otherwise, we will destroy the planet Without and we'll destroy people. Without necessarily going socialistic. Of course. Kasi uh -huh. sa atin naman dito, that we are in a, no, in a free market economy, we, are also, we also value meritocracy. And so dito sa atin, we want to be a people who will live with honor, through hard work, through honesty. Kaya nga, ito ngayon na nangyari sa ating sa bansa natin. Natutuwa ako kasi kahit sana, every month I'm out of the country from, from really? the Europe uh -huh. to, to the U.S. In, kasi gusto na nilang pag-usapan ang Pilipinas eh. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, we are now the apple of the eye of a lot of people who used to ignore us. No? Mm -hmm. And they also have found in Gawad Kalinga, a model that they're curious about, a bottom-up uh, no, uh, bottom development. Wait, what other countries have you brought this concept to? Because I know you have outside the Philippines well, operations. Ang eh. nangyari, we were now working very closely with Indonesia. We uh -huh. have four communities in Indonesia. And we're also working with young Indonesian business leaders who want uh -huh. to help end poverty in their country because they're also an emerging economy. And they also have good leadership now. We've do started you, do this. You, do you do, do you only do this in Christian communities or it doesn't matter what their belief system well, is? Well, alam mo, Ray, ang pagiging Kristiyano is to be non-discriminatory. Uh -oh. Kasi si Kristo, hindi namili ng kanyang tinutulungan at ng uh -oh. kanyang minamahal. Hindi niya tinanong kung ano pinaniniwalaan oh, mo. Oh, precisely. That's why sa, sa ano, sa... Bago ka pagalingin, ano? Uh, well, sa, sa Indonesia, uh, our team no, uh, is composed of uh, the best Muslim and the best Christians working together. Mm -mm. Kasi... What we have they to found say, common cause. Well, for you know, it's important for us now, you know, to really build solidarity all over the world, no? Mm -hmm. And uh, so our work has to be transcendent, no? Oh. It has not. Uh, it is. Uh, it has to rise above religious differences or business rivalries. Kaya ito rin yung puntang ngayon sa Europe and then and, and the U.S. is not only na no. Kasi yung pag ang, ang poverty hindi lang na sa Pilipinas eh, o sa Indonesia. Ang poverty ngayon na sa Europa. Did you know, the last time yes. I was in, 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 uh, in France, I was amazed to find out from the Swiss that they now have 10% poverty in Switzerland and 17% uh -huh. poverty in France. Uh -huh. Now, sabi siya, kaya na, nang pumunta rin ako sa Spain last, last oh, February, 25% ng unemployment, no, tapos 47% of their uh -huh. new graduates cannot find jobs. Sabi ko, punta kayo sa Pilipinas, bibigyan namin kayo ng trabaho. Basta, <laughs> hindi, kayo, basta hindi kayo namimili. Kasi sa, ito ang, this is something that we have also to consider. Kasi uh -huh. ang, because of our colonial mentality, kuminsan, we are blindsided. Kailan malaman natin na yung European countries ngayon, they're now starting, you know, uh, poverty is rising. Uh -huh. Tapos sa mga poor countries of Asia, emerging economies, they're starting to reduce poverty. Sig siguro they're beginning to stop looking down on us and beginning to see us as more, in other words, that they have something to learn from us rather than simply sila lang ang nagbibigay ng, ng technology or knowledge to us. Well, kasi they realize now with the depression in Europe and the recession uh -huh. in America, no? Na they you don't have a monopoly on knowledge. And they cannot be arrogant <laughs> anymore. Uh -oh. no? And ang nakikita nila, baka the answers to their problems, to, their, the, uh, to, to the depression in Europe, might be hope in Asia. So uh -oh. sabi ko, uh -oh. punta kayo sa Pilipinas, marami kaming lupa doon o, na to, to be developed. I, and I, I think, Brother Tony, one of the hard things about uh, capitalism is that it makes us all so self-centered. Kahit ka lang ng kahit para sa sarili mo. At, you know, it becomes just a rat race kung sino mangingibabaw. And I guess, in a, in a sense, some people say, in one respect, they say that it's good that uh, individual initiative is rewarded. But at the same time, we are not an island living unto ourselves. Yeah. Huh? Kaya, kaya nga people always talk about solidarity economy, no? Uh -huh. Kasi ang kailangan dito sa atin, kung common sense lang, kung tulungan natin ang mahirap na hindi na magiging mahirap, eh, then we expand the market. Kaya nga, we are working with a lot of corporations. No, I was talking to, just today, the executives of Shell. Kasi sila yung pinaka-major supporter namin. Sabi na, you know, they're investing in us in 
in bringing people out of poverty because it will I expand the market base. Of course. So investment in Gawad Kalinga... Self-interest in the sense is served. Precisely. is investment also in enhancing the buying power of the poor. Yeah. All right. We have to uh, uh, stop for a while for a few reminders. We'll write back. I want to ask Brother Tony a very, very interesting question that I think uh, a lot of people might be interested in. We'll be right back.